Let's make a simple web page with GitHub pages. You have to sign up for a free account. I'm going to sign in since I already have one. Type in your username and your password. And you can either start a project or go up here, same thing, and create a new repository, which is like a new folder for the code you're creating. You have to give it a name. I'll call this one simple hyphen page. Description's optional. Initialize with a readme file. That's important. License is optional. Click the green button to create the repository. Okay, so I've got one file called readme inside this very simple repository. I'm going to go up to settings now, and I'm going to scroll down until I see the GitHub pages feature. And this is what I have to tell it to say whatever is in the master branch, I have to save, that's what's going to be hosted on the live web. I have to scroll down again to see if it did it correctly. And yes, it says its site is ready to be published. I'm going to copy, right click, and copy the link to that site. And I'm going to go back up to the, click on the main page. And watch what I'll do next. I'm going to open that readme file. And I'm going to go and click the pencil symbol to edit it. Now this is, I can, I can type anything in this uh, uh, text here, and I'm going to write link to the live site, and I'm going to paste that link to the live site I just copied from the GitHub pages. And anything else I type here will also appear on the public web. It's in a language called Markdown, which is very easy to read. It looks like English. Click the green Commit Changes to save your work. And let's go try it out. I'll click on that link to the live web. I'll open it in a new tab. And the first time you do this, this may take up to a minute. So be patient here. Click refresh. Be patient the first time. Click refresh again. And there it is. We have our live web content. And you can always click back to the editing page and add in more to get the simple idea of a simple web page you control.